Hello, my darlings. My name is Victoria, and this is Veritas Tarot. Leo, I'm going to do your summer reading for you this afternoon. I am using 88 cards, that's 22 major arcanas from four different tarot decks to do this reading for you. It's the wheel of life reading. It's the wheel of fortune reading. It's a wheel. It's a reading. It's, it's about the cycles in your life. And it's about creating the message for you, spirit creating the message for you to show you it's okay where you are right now in the cycle of your life which you are if this reading resonates with you my darling if uh, it does resonate with you then you are simply remembering in divine timing what you already know if it doesn't resonate with you it simply means it wasn't for you at this time there'll always be a reading out there at exactly the right time as guided by spirit as ever my darlings thank you so much for all of your lovely likes your comments your gorgeous comments your subscribes i am uh, always so very very grateful and if i haven't replied to you uh, i will do so soon but i do read each and every one of the messages and it does fill me with such gratitude so thank you it's a beautiful exchange of energy between us if you would like to have a personal reading with me all of the details are in the description box below and if you would like to do a donation towards the reading if you felt that is something you wish to do it is not expected but if you would like to do it i would be very grateful there is a donation link down below and also a now a little super thanks uh thing you can click on as well so let's move forward with the reading uh sorry i've had a bit of a cold so excuse the voice but let's move forward with the reading my darlings this is for leo for those most need to hear the message and what we're going to be doing is looking at first of all where you are right now within yourself um that sort of space what's your mindset at the moment uh thank you spirit that one wanted to come out and you've got uh the world number one the world this is an interesting card because this is um you kind of see this like almost like the world card which is number 22 but this is the beginning of something after the end of something for you um and this in effect is showing uh, a situation where you have something has completely sort of uh, disappeared in your life sorry i've just had a, a note and i must just uh, pause the video just to turn my phone off bit back. i'm sorry about that so the world card as you can see she's walking away here from something that's burnt down something that was um very important in your life it was part of your environment uh something that has brought about uh, or is bringing about uh, the end of um, an illusion that you've had about where you were. It's the beginnings of an expanded vision, they're saying, for yourself. And, and you, my darling, have been full of determination and full of courage in this space, and you're not looking back. So I feel within this space that, that you have um, come to terms with a great deal of what has happened within your life and uh, you're traveling lightly. So you're only taking with you, you've released an awful lot of things from your life within what this, within this space that this has happened. And I feel that you're, it's that sort of breaking free of illusions that it's, is, is the main message in this card. And uh, what Spirit is saying is because effectively this card is number one and number one is the magician in the traditional tarot, what you have done within the choice that you have made is a little bit like the magician. It is the choice, the change that is changing everything. Um, and it has allowed you to expand. As I said, there is some form of expansion going on here, and it may feel a little bit like an uphill struggle, but this is where you are. So that is a beautiful start. Let's see what else wants to come out. So this is your environment at the moment. How is this helping you or hindering you? Uh, this is, you know, your environment outside of yourself. And you've got here the healing card has wanted to pop out. Sorry about that very loud noise. Um, you've got here number number eight, which is the healing card. So this is uh, in a traditional tarot. This is number eight is the strength card. So I feel with this that, that uh, obviously your environment at this time is one where the universe, where God, your soul has sent forth to you those that are helping you at this time. Now, these could be family members. This could be long friends that you've had, but it can also be those that uh, have appeared in your life as if by magic and they seem to resonate with you and they seem to understand um, what spirit is saying. Your environment within this space is to reach out if you haven't reached out to others because you are always given at exactly the right time for you 
those that are there to help you in that perfect timing and they will know how to help you they will find the right words because those right words are coming from source energy for you and it will resonate with you and it will help you in terms of the healing that is being you're asking of yourself right now now there is this choice that you have made and remember with a choice that we make it doesn't just appear overnight what we are looking to do it is only with the process of the transition um, and the transformation, having made that choice, having set forth your intent, having set your will out there, that the existing structures of your life, the energetic structures are disappearing. And this is why this card about the world card here, that something, some choice you have made has allowed an existing energy structure within your life to disappear and you have released it, you are releasing it, you're not trying to hold on to it, you're not causing any more additional tension for yourself. This is allowing for a new expanded structure to come in. And uh, what Spirit is saying in the meantime is the environment around you at this time is one of encouraging you to have rest, one to encourage you to, to, encourage you to sit in a place of reflection, to to look after yourself, to give yourself that self-care. And self-care is also staying away from things that cause you more anxiety and more pain and to create a very beautiful protective bubble around yourself with just those that you know are aiding and assisting you at this time. Um, whenever we go through a big change like this, there is always a period of uh, non-action afterwards. And that non-action is very necessary because sometimes if we were to continue to have a great deal of decisions and actions uh, to, to, to make and to do, we might be doing them from a place still of conflict. We might still be doing them from a place of non-understanding and hurt. So the non-action is required to allow us to come into a clearer vision of what things are and what our resolve is and what our intention is and how we are determined and how we are strong and how we are brave. So you might just need a little reminding at this time and that's why you've got this beautiful circle of people around you who are there to help you and to know to tell you that you are not alone in all of this um and you've also got the dandelions in this card okay and so the dandelions are representation of sending um sending your healing is it it's sort of like sending your wishes on the wind it is allowing things to unfold how they're meant to you know dandelions will always fall where they're meant to where they're meant to nurture the soil those that have been sent to you will always fall land right at your feet to be able to give you the messages that you need to hear at this time and what you're putting out there is falling naturally in place even though you can't see it at this time so that's the environment uh, we're going to look at uh winter first of all so we're going to look now at what it is that you are uh, in this place of rest, what it is that spirit wants you to sort of let go of and surrender and what is ready for coming in for you for the spring, what is yet to appear, but the necessary nurturing of the environment, the soil for it is happening during this time of rest. Thank you, spirit. So this is um, winter for Leo. Thank you, spirit. Thank you. one card please well that one wanted to come out release of course this is the death card the release card so um i feel it's been more than one thing for you it's been a whole collection of um of events or experiences um some of which you have found to be um, chaotic, let's put it this way, cause contrast, cause conflict, cause confusion, a lot of C's there. Um, and this is the release card. So it is, uh, how can I explain the spirit? So the death card, nothing, uh, nothing really stops the death card. Okay, the death card is that sort of collapsing of that existing structure, as I talk about, in order for you to move into a more expanded structure. 
And this is all happening because your soul has intended for it to happen. Um, and it is happening for you, although it may not appear that way at this time. But when, and I was talking about this earlier today, when we, when we go through big changes in our life, when we go through those transformational events, however chaotic they may, may be, you, this is this is this winter time. This is why you're being asked to rest and and um, reflect and release at this time, because with the reflection of it from a place of non-resistance, you will receive the clarity you need, which allows you to release. Thank you, Spirit. Um, but the release of it is. In order to release, you have to experience the process of the ending of it, because otherwise, if you don't experience it, then you will relive it in another cycle. If you don't experience it, then you cannot understand it. Um, and understanding is my spiritual interpretation of the word understand is that we can stand in the truth of something but we don't really know what that truth is if we're only looking at one side of it. So when we wish to understand something, we have to look under it. We have to see what's on the other side to understand how the threads are all combined. And it may be a bit messy underneath. It may involve us doing some shadow work, but that's necessary uh, in order for us to see that the symmetrical, beautiful pattern of what is happening on the surface is 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 simply also because of what we hadn't looked at before but is underneath it all so to understand is to look at both sides of this and that's why you have to um this is during this 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 let's call it this this is the winter time this is not winter in terms of our time but this is just this time of rest and reflection you may have already gone through this it may be something you're going through now, but it's very important that you have moved through it slowly with the help, as I said, of family and friends and those that have been sent to, to help you at this time. And there is much to learn. There is much to remember uh, during this. And when we focus on, and I don't like to use the word lesson, um, and spread, I'd like another word for that, but when we focus on, on what we can learn from this as opposed to what has happened and the hurt of it but if we look and seek and search for the answer the answer will be given and it allows for something that is very um peaceful to then ensue it allows for acceptance and when acceptance comes, I always give a great big breath there. There is a release and there is a relief as well. So um, this is this is moving forward with a determination and an understanding that you're now doing this for yourself. You're doing this because you wish to understand more about you. You're doing this because you wish to understand more about what has happened and maybe more about the other person. But this whole thing is, this is almost... Um, with this card here and the unicorn here, the death card as well, is almost, it's the death of the ego. So, and you, you know, my guys, I'm sorry if I've mentioned this before, but you have the ego state and you have the aware state. So you have the spiritual essence. So you have the human essence of this and the spiritual essence. And the two can't coexist. So when we, um, the ego state is the, is the stuff that we have hang ups about. It's the stuff that we have, without ever really, how can we ever truly get to know who we are, who our identity is, who our personality is, because we're always experiencing the outside. So we end up sort of just nudging things this way and being that way for that person and doing this for that person. And then we get uh, we get given a whole lot of information. Some of it may be very flattering, some of it may be not quite so flattering. So we end up developing an inaccurate picture of ourselves and the ego sees itself as completely separate from all there is, it sees itself as a separate identity, a separate persona. That's why we are people, persons. Um, and so therefore it's always on a, a high alert to, to uh, defend itself. So within that state, we will always react because we're conditioned from a very young age to react from the ego state of being. 
But when we're in the aware state of being, when we, and if you can't, you know, even if you, if you're not in a place where you believe that you are life itself experiencing itself, you are the universe itself experiencing itself, you are God itself experiencing itself. The universe is asking you to suspend that disbelief, to spend that belief, to spend that disbelief and just step into a place of choosing to step out of your uh, reactory space into a place of, okay, what am I going to take from this? How am I going to use this to my advantage? How am I going to expand my awareness about uh, how I am, how I react to people, how I respond to people? Because every relationship is in order for our soul to remember, to evolve, to come into a more and more place of understanding that it is life itself experiencing itself. And um, it says here on the front of this card, endings that lead to new beginnings, the need to release situations or people that hold you back, spiritual transformation. So this is all part of this journey for you. And although it may still feel very close what has happened, it is behind you now. And you are now on an adventure. And uh, I heard this the other day and I love it so much. You're on a venture and it is a game of hide and seek with yourself. This is the universe experiencing itself through you and it's a game of hide and seek. So within this game of hide and seek, there are opportune moments to have great discoveries, to have great understandings, to have great adventures and to have great observances. Thank you, Spirit. So um, I am living and breathing the great observance so to take a step back from your life and start to see everything that's unfolding for you around you. This is part of this spiritual evolution that you're not a separate identity, that you are life itself experiencing itself. You are God, the universe experiencing itself. And that space is going to allow you to have such a connection if it hasn't already an understanding and self-love. So now let's see. And of course, we talked about within that uh, winter what is the ground preparing itself for to come in for you and you've got peace you've got here these beautiful sort of white roses and you've got the opening arms of that angel there so this is the opening arms this is the embrace of your spiritual soul it's evolution and uh it is a what is coming in for you which you are preparing yourself for is that expanded energetic structure you have pushed down the parameters of where you were and you've pushed those parameters out and you're now stepping into something that is unknown and beautiful so let's move ahead and see what uh spirit wants to say i'm sorry my light bear with about that right so now let's look at spring so this is what is beginning to blossom in your life what is beginning to come through for you at this time thank you Ooh, that wanted to come out look at this guys you've got the high priestess so what is beginning to happen is knowledge the seeds of growth that lie within you do you see here the apple here the high priestess is you in an aware state this is you choosing to step out of the reactory state of being into an aware responding state of being, one that is releasing, one that is reflecting, one that is relaxing, one that is receiving. So this is beginning to blossom in your life. Um, this is uh, what you are receiving at this time in that state of being when you are aware you are and you are be able to speak words and you'll be able to receive things is spirit is asking you to continue to focus on that because it is blossoming it is growing you are expanding your third eye is opening up you are seeing more you are believing more all of it is you pushing pushing on the boundaries of what you where your boundary was before almost like those castle walls you've pushed past that energetic structure in your life and the universe will always give to you as far as your expanse of belief and trust goes and so you're pushing on your old limited beliefs and 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 new knowledge and things is coming through um within this high priestess mode you have and it is always the need to step back and observe. It's very, very important. Um, and what's happening for you at this time 
is when you make a decision about anything, trust your intuition, darling. Very important you continue. To, that is your soul speaking to you. Trust your intuition at this time. Trust any dream interpretations that you, you may be doing at uh, this time. If this is a continued time um, of contemplation. If you are not meditating, meditate. Let's flip it to sitting in stillness um, and try not to label anything that you hear. Try not, to, you can listen to music, just be still. You are just allowing yourself to be in a receiving mode, literally for your intuition, for your soul to speak. Whatever messages and signs you are receiving at this time that make you go, God, that was weird. That was wonderful. That was amazing. Can't believe I bumped into that person. Can you believe that? All true or all for you all true and all for you and again it's the need at this moment in time just let things blossom in divine timing in the natural cycle of things let things happen spontaneously just like nature let it happen by itself just like nature there's no rush with this at the moment you are in it's like you're in a greenhouse at the moment and you're you're planting up all your little seeds or you've planted up all your seeds and things are just beginning to take shoot now and they're very delicate and you can't rush them and they need some care and they need to be in the sun which is healing they also need water which is your emotions maybe you're crying because that's very important release of energy and motion um and that's that vibration relationship to where you are now and where you're willing to go so all of it is is the nurturing you're giving yourself is allowing for this blossoming allowing for this expansion for you at this time um it's also about how do i say this spirit um things that in your life that are not yet revealed so one of the great um i should show you this card again one of the great um magic and mysteries is that we're not meant to know everything uh, i think it would slightly more than blow our mind if we did and also we're also we also get told by a variety of beautiful funny lovely ways and methods the right information at the right time so what spirit is saying it's okay at this time if you don't know everything you're not meant to don't worry and you will get told at exactly the right time for you but it does it, it is about also do in that place of observation do look at the underside of the carpet, okay? Do look at um, also what is, you may not have considered, uh, but in your aware state of observing, things may come to you that then begins to make more sense for you. So that is um, that is a very interesting card for you at this time. Now, I'm so sorry about my cold. Uh, let's have a look now at summer. So what's in fruit, in flower for you? What are you celebrating having laughing about joy about what is what is there for you at this time thank you spirit thank you let's see what wants to come out Ooh. well look at this one darling you've got the strength card has come out for you number 14 here beautiful card do you know what you are one brave courageous person whoever you are um, and I'm not going to call you a person, I'm going to call you a soul here. One brave, courageous soul. Um, you have, whatever you have done, you have acted through the fear. You have acted with your instinct. You have been fearless. You have had courage. You have stood strong. You have spoken up for yourself maybe for others as well you've done what is authentic and true for yourself you've spoken from the heart and uh this this strength card is an extraordinary card because you have been helped um through nature through signs but also through messages that you have received or through guides that you have received uh because this is about your connection with um source energy here as well and i want you just to take a look at how committed she is to what she is doing right now you've been very um confident you've been wise you've um 
I've seen the skunk there. You may have told certain people certain things. Um, uh, you have listened. Uh, you have uh, this the links there is the, is the death card again. Um, you have here, is that, uh, what is that in the background? Oh, is that funny? You've got the polar bear there. So you have taken steps that you've not taken before. And each and every one of those steps has brought you clarity. So I think that's really, really, really beautiful. You've had this energy somewhere it's come from that's allowed you to push forward at this time. And you, you know, you've looked to make a change in your life. And this is what you, you're beginning with getting your strength back, with getting over what you have gone through. You are finding within yourself something you didn't know was there before. And that's what you are celebrating. That's what's giving you peace and joy and even a little bit of laughter. So I think that's really lovely. Let's look at autumn because autumn is a time of further releasing, but it's also a time, you know, late summer, early autumn is when we harvest. So it's a combination of things for you, but let's just see what um, what spirit is saying for you uh, for autumn, uh, whether it be abundance, abundance, they're saying. So what are you, uh, they're telling you, you've got the moon card here. Um, the moon card is, sorry, I was just looking on the back of this deck because uh, I was normally on the Wheel of Fortune. She points at the moon card at the back. So that's just something, the message I was being given there. Sorry. Uh, the moon card. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful card for you for autumn. The harvest moon, isn't it? The harvest moon, a time of abundance, a time to gather. Um, the moon card is, there is something within this direction that you're taking that again is unknown it's the wink from the universe there is an unseen path a path you may not have seen or something that hasn't yet appeared for you but for my connection with source energy the moon card is always something to go yay about because it is to say but be prepared for a surprise and delight be prepared for something to appear as if by magic for you um it says here, listen to your intuition and pay attention to signs from the divine. This is divinely led, unnecessary worry. Okay, so you uh, come back to that. Let go of your fears, revelations that will make everything clear. Revelations, revelations is godlike. Revelations is an announcement, a big grand announcement. Revelations is revealing. Things will be revealed at exactly the right time for you. Let go of the worry because there is nothing you can do. This is outside of your control. With the moon card, it is trust what you are receiving when you know, when you know this is uh, not coming from fear and anxiety. Trust those quiet little whispers that come through to you. Trust them and know that if you are being asked to um, do some uh, releasing at this time and resting and people, because this is your environment at this time, this is not a time for great big movements forward. Trust that everything will be made clear to you at exactly the right time for you. The thing about the moon card is that something is evolving for you. It's evolving. And when one something evolves it happens again in natural cycles natural cycles so we are just as natural in cycle as nature is so we don't get cross with nature so don't get cross with yourself or this situation but something is evolving and it is evolving as you are evolving and it is evolving in the perfect time for you so i'm going to pull one more card and, and revelations will make everything clear for you thank you the other thing about the moon card is that it is that lovely examples that you will be given of coincidences serendipitous moments things that make you go wow and those coincidences are you co-creating those incidents with spirit with your soul and the universe one of the same so thank you spirit one last card please for leo thank you okay beautiful look at this my darling 
you've got the sun on the bottom of the deck, the overall energy. This experience is allowing you to grow tall and strong and independent. You are tall and strong and independent. You are a soul having a spiritual adventure, having a game of hide and seek. You are a soul who is taking responsibility for their happiness. You are a soul who's taking responsibility for everything in their life. And uh, that is extraordinary. And that deep inner healing and embracing of everything is allowing the nurturing of your environment, the growth of your environment um, to bring in for you so much abundance in the future, success, recognition, and enthusiasm. A successful um, end to what you felt at the time was something that wasn't but it's because you had moved beyond that structure. So you'd grown beyond wherever you were before. So that is a success. You'd had expanded already beyond it. So the, the energetic structure collapsed. A recognition of who you are, a recognition that you are the universe experiencing itself, a recognition that there is nothing to fear, a recognition that you are now recognizing and seeing things in that aware state and enthusiasm for it an amazing enthusiasm for surprises and delights and being grateful for lessons learned and the new experiences of people coming into your life that are matching you vibrationally and look at this you've got this is the, the dreamer card so this is the full card beginning again believing and protected that cycle has closed and that cycle sorry one of my dove pigeons that cycle has closed in order for you to move into this amazingly extraordinary expanded protected structure beginning again wiser stronger connected to yourself loving life having the enthusiasm of a child for things that wonderful imagination that creative space chasing after your dreams, chasing like a butterfly, like a child chasing a butterfly, but doing it in a way which is wonderfully exciting and bursts of energy, but also then getting distracted by other things and not focused too, too much on the dream, but having natural distractions to take your attention away so they can come in faster. Um, all of these wonderful things, this is the full card. This is the dreamer. Spirit is saying, dream your dreams, my darling, dream your dreams and enjoy the process of those dreams coming into fruition with the excitement of a child, the wisdom of a wise, a wise person and the love for yourself. So there we are, Leo, that's uh, your reading for you. I hope that has helped those that has resonated with. I look forward to doing another reading for you soon, but in the meantime, enjoy your daily readings, uh, which if you haven't seen, uh, they tend to appear UK time late afternoon. So what sort of lunchtime in, in the States? So much love to you and see, see you again very soon. Take care. Bye bye.